Hello everyone, Chris and Monk is here and today we will start working on uh, this bottom belly part. So first of all what I want to do just add some thickness in here. So just try to add it. Great. And what we want to do next, fill these holes with uh, some kind of leads or caps. Okay, so I will select the edge, duplicate the edge, I'll pull it up or it's down because I'm in the bottom. Okay, so oops. I will pull, pull it about 150 in the y axis. Okay, so now just select for a one side of edge and try to merge it. Great, let's go to the outliner and delete unnecessary um, edges. Okay, so I will select all the edges, so I will go to the surface and under surfaces I will use the boundary command. Besides on the boundary command you can uh, select automatic or as selected. I have used settings as selected because in automatic it will reverse with uh, faces for me or wait a second I will create boundary and I will create a polygonal surface in the quads okay per span okay you can create uh, as I've created firstly and nerves after it you can go and create a uh, polygons or any surface which you want but we have here ability to create uh, polygons with a single mouse click so I've just used this, this command ok so select all faces and whoops and make sure that you have keep faces selected World axis, I will try to extrude it a little bit. Okay, I'll extrude it again on the world axis. And one more time. Great. So, basically, we have a cap, but we have reverse tower normal. So Go to the normals and reverse it back, and after it, I will clear the history. Okay, and okay, I will just uh, center the pivot, and they will try to position this lead. If something like that it will be cool. Great, so I will do the same thing on the, this part. Select the edge, duplicate the edge, I'll bring it up a little bit, minus K, select the edges, merge edges, select the edges, merge edges. Delete unnecessary edges and after it will 
select this edge is going to surface under surface we will go to a boundary and I will do the same command ok right now we can clear the history get rid of, it of our edges of uh, curves and right now I will do the same procedure just trying to extrude it extrude it one more time extrude it again great and oops it will go under polygons re reverse normals freeze the transformation and clear the history ok it looks great cool so under y we was in minus one 150 whoa cool okay okay and right now we can clear the history freeze the transformation clear the history on both of this uh, meshes so I'll do next, I will go to the no, uh, maybe I will go back to this view. I will press shift, oops, uh, D and X to center our pivot point because I want to duplicate this to our side. Okay, so I'll press shift D to duplicate it and we will mirror over the x-axis uh, same with this mesh so freeze transformation on one and other mesh under polygons normals reverse normals and here do it as well clear the history clear the history great so we, we filled with holes so what we can do next I believe we can start adding some hard surface details in here if you want I'm not sure right now will we be doing this or maybe not I don't know but definitely we need somewhere to place our legs because this is it it's uh, little bit looks unusually so I believe in this part we can do some kind of uh, transforming legs or something like that I really don't know I'm doing this on the fly so basically this is it we've created this uh, holes we've created the uh, caps or lids for these holes and in the next tutorial I believe we can do something more interesting okay so stay tuned and till the next tutorial bye